Though part of what keeps me going through this whole PS1 JRPG retrospective is that there's a common experience that I hear about from people who played these at the time they came out and then, you know, carried on to live in, in the times we do today that followed after them. That there was a point in your life where games was good and then a time later where games was bad. No. There was a time in your life when you would enjoy whatever you had in reach, where you could make fun from noise for yourself. Then you grew up. You gained knowledge of good and bad. You learned noise. There is not the moment that games became bad. There is the moment that you became clever. Just enough to notice. Kill your nostalgia. Wherein, previously, they solved the murder mystery in time for the big championship bout to win his freedom from prison, then did so. And his opponent died mysteriously. Wherein also previously a lot of... some semblance of actually establishing stakes and a larger conflict in which we are a participant actually played out. But yeah, anyway, there was uh, some firm reassertion that there is some manner of internal conflict within you know, the space side of things, and that the participants in said conflict recognize that Fey and the Weltall would be capable of flipping a lot of tables. Okay, so so we're the champion now. We're we're free, right? We champion can go... of the prison battle league. I could just walk outside into the world. Could go visit Kaiser. Maybe. We could visit maybe. the Kaiser, maybe. But yeah, space Where's... folks. There is internal strife. A couple of factions. Like the Emperor is a faction. The Spear of Old Men is a faction. Mm -hmm. There could be any number of undetermined additional factions beyond those. Well, like uh, Graf. Power Man doesn't seem to be affiliated with either of those. So, yeah, there's another faction. He was seen talking to Miang once. <laughs> Excuse me? It has an attack, call attack called Hitchcock that rules. So, in that case, alright, so how many factions are involved at this point in the game? We've got all of the the Lamb factions, all the, the, the Earth-based factions, basically. Which means that you have Kislev, Ava, Jebler? Or was Jebler one of the space factions? Jebler is, is Solaris's special forces. Yeah, their okay. special forces army that they send to interfere in Lamb Wars. Right. Yeah, okay, they're, they're so. surface operations. Which, by the way, also to review, are currently on their way here to nuke the city. So they have sent a special forces team containing our good friend Van Houten to go detonate an old reactor that exists near the city and just irradiate the place and to hopefully kill Fei in the process. As far, as far as the old man orb is concerned, that's the ideal situation. That is their objective, their preferred outcome. And also apparently there is a non-Solaris space nation, which has otherwise not appeared in the plot. Here is this man in a tall chair. Not even a chair, just a platform with a back that he stands on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you should jump and try to talk. Mash the button in the air. Excuse, Excuse me, sir. sir. I just want to say something. It worked. Hi, my name's Faye. I'm the champion. Yeah. Even from just a cursory look around, Kislev is quite 
fiercely more developed than if it was. It means I can finally oh, open that box. It's time. Oh my god, you're right. It's there. We're here. Is that a cat on his bed over there? Is he an elf? He's got pointy ears. He is. I don't know what that means in this game's context. There have been dolphin and also like groundhog people. Yeah. So. <laughs> also, whatever the fuck Rico is. Yeah, Rico is one of those. Uh... Apparently, very slightly mutated. What is this Rico's incompetent and adventure subplot that? Hold doing? on a second. Hold on. Rico's still got a bomb collar on. Uh, does hmm. he? Yeah. yeah, it's right there in his portrait. It's right there in his portrait. Oh. Did they just forget that he's a prisoner at some point and that should have gone off at some point? They might have just... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was oh. disarmed when he won his first championship and he just left it on. He's uh, in the palace. Capital. That should be like double rigged to set off the colors. He should have exploded several times. That is well beyond the forbidden zone. Well, he could have left immediately after winning the tournament the first year, but he maybe he, he came back, just got bored. Maybe the colors actually just don't work, and they they're just an intimidation. The tactic. massive bluff, the tragic past of our. Of our last week arch rival in the Robo Sport Arena. We're going from is he with you? No, but well, I sh I should go check on him anyway. I'm sorry. We solved you're, the crime together. Your holiness, all. just I'll be right back with you in a moment. Just got it. He spent a lot of time face down in the sewer, and now he's back in the team. Welcome back! You gonna put armor on him this time? Does he deserve pants? I'm still not believing that he's gonna stay here. He will vanish any minute. He will be so... put back into the party for two rooms and then be gone into the abyss. The closest yeah. we've had to a constant anything through all of this has been Faye. So as far as I'm concerned, Faye is the only person who deserves equipment, or experience, or to learn any techniques. There, we found you a new crime. <laughs> Put the collar back on him. Reactivate his collar. I guess you were right. He was gone the moment you left. <laughs> Not even two rooms. Not even two rooms. Not even one room. We walked through a door. It was, it was a doorway. It was a scene transition. What? Of all the details. Hey, look, this, this dog survived. <laughs> Someone is keeping chickens in the halls of the, of the palace. Train heist, got it. Train. Oh, you finally get to jump on the train. Yeah, we don't have the collars, so guess what? So, Ethos runs the sport league. Oh, Ethos is coming in as an actual thing. We are having a scene of these two perpendicular plot threads colliding. People bursting into the room to interrupt each other. With wait, weren't we doing this other thing? Maybe we can pull off one and then <laughs> the other. All right, guys, you want to do a double heist? Because it looks like it's uh, that's what it's going to come down to. But we need time to plant a ski- No, we don't. We just go. We just do it. That's how this works. Hammer, you don't have a collar anymore because of the dumb shit we've done. Hammer, you can just leave. Just go anywhere, do anything. Just be a free hamster on the land. 
If we break in to steal the robot, and then on the way out, we ruin the execution. <laughs> These things just happen to be next to each other. This is actually really good for us. Want to take one last run around the sewers, say goodbye? The old sewing grounds? <laughs> I actually have to platform onto the train. That's not how it happened, let me start again. <laughs> well, we're over here now. Stealth section? Okay. Vents are infested with cat monsters section. A vent is just a dry sewer. Who were these vent men? Just men, men. Engineering in the third dimension. Cube shoving. Reminder, the planes are already in the air. The city is doomed. It really sucks when you plan a double heist and it turns out the foreign country is about to do, like, a purge on you. Never plan your heist on purge day. Three steps. A thing can never go as planned in this game. If you plan anything at all, something has to happen. Plans can only betray us. That run was too handsome a beast for us to ever forget it. Of all the souls we've known, he has contained the most humans. Hello, shop robot. Excuse me, wherever my machine is, could you install new plating? Excuse me, gentlemen, I have misplaced my apocalyptic death machine. Have any of you seen the god-slaying berserker engine? Ah. I think that, uh, that switch does something. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, looking for the god-slaying machine, it's... It's kind of a gray-blue about Veltal. It's the worst. I liked it anyway. Anyway, the bombs are here! Ah, finally! Purge day! Look, L, this is not my first incident. <laughs> I've seen a few incidents. We've all had our share of incidents, together or as individuals. <clears throat> Get out of my way! Find another way! We have the freedom. I don't have the freedom. You I have do not the possess freedom. the freedom. You got all the freedom. I got all the oppression. I think by now Ringo has either successfully diverted the missile or not. <laughs> so, I feel like the fact this conversation is happening means the city is already safe. Also, that they're just standing here off to the side while the slums burn behind them. I fight when I feel like it. Same. If it seems like a good idea at the time. Boy, this is gonna really suck when you get into another fight and don't have enough health. We have a save point. We'll be fine. We have access to the menu. Quickly. Oh, thank God. Quickly eat the robot parts. <laughs> Wealth all. Wealth all. Eat the. Okay, it goes in an accessory slot. Yeah, the answer was just again turbo and keep punching until they fall down. That's yep. it. That's the fight. Remember to destroy the ad before it goes off. Why did we point it at the orphanage? It may have helped. If you were to change its course by pushing from the side 
instead of trying to work directly against the engine. That gear. Thanks, Dracula. I don't know, it looks like you're having a bit of a moment here. I just, just wanted to briefly check in and be sure. Does, does anyone around here seek power? Anybody? Power available? Hammer, I have been to Bladovic pretty th I, There's a lot of things that could decimate Bladovic. Oh, we have L back. Yeah, that at least merits something. There, there, there. there since yours. that, since that forest, 20 hours ago. It has been 20 hours since this character was last in the team. She possesses the Screamer, and that is all. <laughs> We, sh we should just approach the Kaiser! Just, on the one hand, we're taking back our robot, on the other, we prevented your destruction by nuclear hellfire. So... goodbye? Yeah. We're about and even, I think, at this pursue point. Pursue us at your own peril? I think we've reached the limits of what this, this partnership will achieve. Hi, I'm the guy who, everywhere I go, things get annihilated. I still hate you, but I'm going to help you. I am not forming any lasting friendships over a shared heart. <laughs> Who's this man here There's standing Big Joe. on the city map? There. There he is. Right? Is he just hanging out? Just, yeah, it's Big yeah, Joe. Yeah, he looks like he's having some trouble. Go. Oh. Yes. This this is good. I want all your nacho intel. <laughs> Joe, tell me everything you know. Oh god, he's gonna tell us about party switching. 20 hours into the game, we finally have more than three people, and are told there's a structured way to customize who's on the team. Whoa. 20 hours! Nine compact discs! Forty years in the desert to be allowed to change party members. We're now allegedly using a team that will stay with us for some span of time. Yeah, a significant amount of time at the least. That's as far as I remember. After 10,000 years, Thermocube has returned. We haven't used the world map since Smashcast. First time with the full party, that's for sure. That you weren't going to immediately lose. 20 hours. Mm -hmm. The pacing of this game is absolutely fucked. This marvelous creature what? we found. <laughs> and, and the thing that is just kind of hanging out on him. Nature is beautiful. We must kill this and sell it for parts. It belongs in a museum. Things are rapidly sliding out of control. Yeah, this is getting bad. We have discovered the ultimate life form. All right, let's go steal a boat. Let's good. Let's do a heist. Welcome to Gear Party. It happened finally. Oh, bot dungeon returns. A full three gear party, huh? Look at these tiny robots. <laughs> Who are less tiny on the actual combat screen. Hello, poor defenseless humans. Those are mechanics. Yeah, they might, like, exist to protect the robot. Yeah, unless they get leg swept for a thousand damage. <laughs> they throw the giant wrenches at their robot friend. What great omens we're seeing emerge from these... Mo We've hit the promised land, it's here. A game, you mean? 20 hours later. 
The stars have aligned. The prophecy is fulfilled. Team, they have moves. They have roles. They have challenges yeah. to overcome. Oh, nice. They're, they're hiding behind. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the humans at first. You cannot <laughs> hide from me. I mean, the game for 20 hours so far has been no, shut up, get in the robot, and they finally did it. Do you seek the power? Do you want to be as god? I became as god, and all I had to do was seek out the power. Why do you need to be in human state to operate these giant novelty switches? I accept your offering. <laughs> you die yeah. last. We found the ground. One ground. Doc, wouldn't you need more than five people to reasonably operate? A boat? All right, let's steal this boat. See, things are turning. We got this. We have a What's team. Up? We have a vehicle. We have uh -huh. a vague sense of an objective. How many propellers does this thing have? Oh my god. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. Too fucking many. Like, your standard fantasy airship that is settled in is, like, a boat with a bunch of propellers on it, but what if a plane, <laughs> but with propellers? That's what's standing out here. It's already an air- it ha it's a wing! It has a wing! The wing is how it flies! Vertical takeoff and landing, but wings. It's a plane, but not a plane. It's an airplane. <laughs> Looks like someone sought some power. Why is Rico out here? Good question. Oh no. Alright. This extremely long animation. So Groff is literally Master Asia. Yeah. Yes. Because he is fighting robots while on foot and winning. Fighting robots on foot and winning. Spookbot is looking around while he's doing this. The only I'm getting the sense doing. that this is just a very drawn out, not actual fight. Do you want more power? It looked uh, like you kids Ellie... been seeking power out here. Was Ellie able to do any damage to him at all? And also, did he attack Ellie at any point? No, he didn't. Ah, hmm. he's not Faye's dad. He's Ellie's dad. Hammer, shoot the fucking gun. Hammer, shoot the gun. Ha shoot the gun. Hammer, don't be goddamn useless! Point and shoot, Hammer. All you gotta do is point and shoot. Just robots, Hammer. <laughs> robots, I mean that I don't respect them, Hammer. They're just parts of the bureaucracy. The feeling when anytime I do I accomplish something minor, something bad happens to even that. My knee's going off. There's gonna be an incident any minute. Mm. 
Bronze is okay. Everything is fine. Bronze will live. The review, the last time we saw these folks, this ship had been snapped in half and everything was falling apart and they were preparing to die, cold and alone in the depths of the sand. Yeah, they're, they're fine though. Dead. They're fine. Wow, how did I miss that? Was I just not at all paying any kind of attention? Did that <laughs> happen in the last like 20 minutes when I was gone? It happened in the last three minutes actually. Oh, okay, that's how I missed it then. The boat's on water. Doc just looks out the window. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so we had that the, the plane for like a good hot 10 minutes, maybe. The plane is literally just a joke. <laughs> it really, we did not have the plane. No, we did not have the plane. We right. shot Graf with it. That was cool. No, Hammer shot Graf with it. Hammer did things with this plane. It's unclean now. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of it. No, yeah, this is for the best. Anyway, Bart and them are gonna die yet again. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna we're gonna blow up. We're gonna blow up another ship. Presumably, it's the same ship. Wow, we actually haven't seen these guys in a while. Yeah, the last time we saw him, I think his arm and leg got torn off. Yeah, yeah. that incident. Mm -hmm. Three incidents ago. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's he's popping in on everybody today. Who seeks power over here? Anybody <laughs> need the power? I just had an appointment over there with someone seeking power, but I've got some right now. This hand of mine is filled with savings. There's a floor under the orb. Oh. It's not ah, just floating in the back. void. It's an orb in a room. There's There's flooring down there. Also, is that like another screen? The orb That's needs that. to look at other screens. <laughs> but it's yeah, rotating. It's, it's rotating, and some of them are on the other side. Do they? Is that why it's rotating? So sometimes they can <laughs> everyone get a good gets look equal there. chances to look. Many around him possess the anime factor. The memory cube. That's a thing, right? Didn't they mention the that? The cube. They are monitoring the save points. God, we get Graph and then we get these guys immediately The same after. condition as 500 years ago. <laughs> it's exactly the same as the incident. The 4,000 year search for the 500 year legacy. <laughs> Every 500 years, there's an identical incident. And this has happened there's eight another... times before. The eight incidents which form the historic cycle. There's another name, Zaboim. Zaboim. A legacy. Oh, hello. The emperor has their number. Mhm. Mm oh, hey, emperor. What's up? Hello. Nano machines. The 19-year secret you? of the 500-year incident, fulfilling the 8,000-year prophecy. I thought it was 4,000 years. Or Nine be on billion second. nano machines. <laughs> Seven compact discs. <laughs> <laughs> this incident has been documented on five thousand discs. One trillion nano years, and we are golds. Dads. Dudes. <laughs> Kane, we are dads. <laughs> <laughs> we, the High Council of Dads. <laughs> Someday you too will join the data orb when your nano machine body fails you. <laughs> what color do you like? Do you like red or blue more? That's what the test pattern screen is for. That's the vacancy. Yeah, that's the vacancy. We have an open share in the orb for another dad. Oh right. Another egg brain dad. The ki the main characters. Oh yeah, they they kind of got crashed into the ocean. And in a shocking twist, Faye dies in that cutscene, and we are now going to be playing as Ellie for the rest of the game. Well, he's working. Okay, so I've just thought of something. 
We got to name Tepid. And have not seen it since. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just crossed my mind that we saw... We named something. And we haven't and seen it And then it, it vanished. Since. And then it vanished. <laughs> it had a portrait. It had a complex, like, sprite. And it was doing things. I really hope Tepid is not a party member. Oh yeah, we're on Bart's pirate ship. Who the fuck is Bart? <laughs> <laughs> that is a real good question. That's completely fair, yeah. You know, Ed Bart and Seal Girl and Houseman. The fact, the fact that, like, that just crossed my mind about Tepid is, like, I'm getting some existential dread now. <laughs> what will it be up to? What What was its nefarious scheme after so long? We're going to see it again, and then it's going to start expounding about how millions of years ago before the sun began. Yes, good. Punch the ocean. You have to punch the good fish, not the bad fish, otherwise Ellie will die. Yeah, you got to make sure to leave and come back and grab the fish that's moving as fast as possible. Good. A shape. You're saved. <laughs> Shapes. Ah, we've seen that before. Ah, uh, Mighty Sky Ring. That is it's, Shivat. It's the other space. space oh, that's, uh, that's not space. That's just, like, high altitude. It's space to these people, because they're that's, dumb. It's the plain civilization. Also, Bart does not like water. He's, He's getting like used to this ocean thing. It's strange and frightening. Yeah, the sea breeze stings my eye. Not... Like the not sand. the sand. The sand, which does not sting at all if you have exposed your eyes. I hate salt. It's coarse and irritating and gets <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Who's a good dog monitors the core temperature? Oh, wherever Faye is, I'm sure he's alive and well and would want me to install a new engine on his robot. <laughs> While it's stuck in the in the hold of a ship that's half wherever it is, it could benefit from the power of the V eighteen. And Bart's also been gone for ages. Yep. Yeah, it was his turn to be out of the party for ten hours. Ten thousand years. Okay, this is a new other boat of just a similar class. Yeah, the Agrazel is fucking dead. Do you think you'd go back to the area? Oh, I am so fired if I ever make it back to space. Yeah, really. I don't think he understands what a military is. They will demote me back to bees so fast. <laughs> they do not eat strange hellfish. The bright colors are nature's way. They're nature's warning labels. <laughs> Ones that are easy to catch are the most poisonous. Alright, now we reach the important, crucial moral decision where we decide who eats who. Perfect. Welcome! An additional dolphin man! <laughs> you didn't think that was gonna be the only one, did you? All is well. We're on the ocean now. Okay, this is the Thames. Welcome to Sea Civilization. You're here. There is a Sea Civilization! Well, we're at sea now. Yep. A new life awaits us on the Thames. As we return to the sea, we're in previously Battle Champion, Escape from Purge Knight, Brief Tenure of Boat Ownership, and now we're here, having been salvaged. I have located a card game for Men of the Sea. Excellent. Real time, card battle action. Eights. I have oh, wow. eights. What a I bad have hand. Several eights. That's 
unfortunate. Fortunately, he has seven, eight, nine, six, so he's gonna get there. It's not over yet. They put a voice line into the card game. What? I can maybe timer scam oh, him. Hmm. You might Son of a bitch! By default. Oh, well, might have it this time. It's not over yet. Never mind. Right, I could be running. Ammunition? Oh, hey, is this another puzzle room in some storage space that we have to figure out? What is this giant knife doing here? This is a gun. There's just a gun laying across some storage <laughs> crates as a bridge. I forgot. If you go into the ocean to get do giant robot mission, you come across a giant robot shark. You need to take out that giant robot shark with your giant robot gun. Physics, puzzles, giant robot deck crew. Would any of you like to play cards? Do it. Do it. Yeah. Every card makes the robot slamming into each other noise. It is perhaps, in fact, preferable to just rub myself back and forth against my hand, mashing the button because any valid combination that occurs will go off. I have released the power. Yes, good. The captain. Here he is. He has the move. Yeah, I could just live life. here for the rest of Yeah, this of seems life. fine. This is yeah. our future. Just a life at sea. Just beer and cards and the ocean. It's just always a party on this giant trash barge. Yeah, welcome to Party Boat. Have we met these two? We met Dominion. Dominion was running Not the other one. Okay. The other ones were He just spent an undetermined amount of time at sea subsisting on weird garbage poison fish and nutrient paste. This is no time for further incidents. Ah, he's, uh, he's lying to himself. Because he just wants to have a single day, maybe, of Just robotics. one afternoon in the beer hall. Without an incident. Just wanted to have a We're just gun. in a very wonderful place right now where we've stumbled into the premise for a completely different RPG. Yeah. Just briefly intersecting with yet another pitch for a different game they did not complete. Yeah, this one's kind of good, though. Finally, a chance to use the big gun. Uh, sir, one, we have no idea who either of these people are. Two, you are the only one who insists that is a functional weapon. Shoot the big gun already! I want the main shot. gun, sir! We are a platform. We were not armed until you started taking liberties. That ship. I destroyed that two incidents ago. Oh, that reminds me. So, last episode, there was an extremely brief talk between the orb of old people and the emperor of a place called Zeboim. Which I think we glossed over, but 
the Emperor mentioned that Zeboim was like an ancient capital that's on the bottom of the ocean. So there we go. There is, in fact, an ocean civilization. Probably one that's dead, but there was one. Yeah, Bart decided to charge off and do a diversionary raid, but didn't waterproof his robot first. Oh! Bear's able. Yeah, the able. That word had been brandished around before. It's, it's referring to the space folk, at least the ones who are being all interventionist on the surface. Gotcha. Shepherds of the lambs. Oh, what? What are you gonna do? Have I? Have I? Have I shocked you? Have I insult? Have I offended you? You gonna? You gonna start an incident here? I'll start an incident on you. You're gonna incident at me, huh? Is that the thing you're I gonna do, huh? You gonna think gonna I'm gonna be, be intimidated by an incident? <laughs> Go on, come on, I dare you, incident up right now. Alright, so it's time to fight shrimp. Time for an underwater robot fight. Well, goodbye. So we regain access to the interior of the boat. Be you a man of the sea, said close enough. <laughs> The sand is close enough to the sea. He would not care about that. Basically the same. On we go. Yeah, because this is a powerful bureaucratic aura. You can only get up in my grill if you have signed this in triplicate 400 times. Dost thou seek that thing I sent you? The arrangements. Yeah, what's all that about? Eh, you know, standard workplace incident. Oh Big Joe times. has joined the orbit of this crew. He's just here now. Big Joe will play cards. Joe, I will not cease to interrupt your time of love. Not until until I have crushed you with cards. There's some highly advanced card work occurring right now. Honestly, you miss more opportunities. Check me, Joe. You... Pei Fong Wong in his plate mail and trench coat and sprint shoes. Although, looking at it now, I suspect that there is not actually any sort of card AI. I think it's doing what I'm doing, and just rubbing itself against its hand within human precision. See how much better everything is on the sea? Yep, everything's fine. Just have a fine round of everything being okay and normal. Everything continuing to be good. Crisis averted, team immediately reunited, all well. 
And we'll just carry on conducting ourselves here in here in the betrayal chapter, where everyone remains very on the up and up. Where team unity is reestablished and everyone is settled in for a wonderful, loyal, camaraderific time. Let's just go look at the lovely Raider Free Reactor humming along at nominal temperature. There are no mental scars. I can tell from out here. Just looking at her. Yep, brain looks okay. That is a perfectly sane, unconscious body. As a doctor, I alone am qualified. Out of the fish mech and into a real mech. Into the blade gash. That thing has a big sword. Well, that sure was an amount of damage that didn't matter. This is kind of a weak... Uh, boss gimmick. But she has to spend a time, a turn to charge it up and then attack for normal boss damage. But what's your weakness? Boot to the head? That seemed like an in completely inconsequential, extremely easy boss fight. Well, that's fair. But she was a distraction. My rival. <laughs> my rival. Who is, is you? you? Yeah. My rival. There can be no life for me until I destroy you, my rival. That yeah. is a lot of damage. Oh, wait. What the hell? We have repair. Her smug secretary robot also exists to clear status effects from the it's the same fight again, just this time this time Ramses is in a giant goofy fish robot. He has adopted his stance. Except they made him hit four times as hard with each individual swing of his multi-hit combo attacks. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. What the hell are you guys doing? I, they probably really expect you to use uh, repair. Also, hey, look, you've got a special. Wait. What a move! Just look at fly. We're underwater. But that it's was on definitely the a sky. Also, it's Jesus. a very poorly rendered surface of what a move. What a All great right. move! What a fine mechanic to be introduced, and then... The choice to make your character's stuff not just re-enter your inventory immediately again... This is, is why we so... don't let Doc wear pants. Yeah, it's so <laughs> baffling for this game, because the characters are literally in and Every out time constantly. that anyone looks at pantsless Doc and says, Why don't you give him any equipment? This is why, <laughs> you imbecile. Get back in the corner, you do not have opinions. But what if 24 hours later it just stops being the game it's been for the last continuous day of uptime? What if it just has a turn of What if he can change? We can fix- No, it's good! I've, I've paid money for this! I've put weekends into this! This is a good product that I will enjoy! No, you haven't. You foolish child. Actually, there's zero difference between good things and bad things. You moron. You imbecile. You remember this being good. You you remember feeling good at the point in your life where you were most easily entertained. So let us recover. Yeah, sit around. Heal up. 
there have been zero battles where fuel management in a broad sense actually mattered. Turn your fuel into murder, then your opponent is dead, and then fuel is irrelevant. There is no substance to any of these robot fights. It's the regular combat system, but worse, for no reason. You do a heavy attack, then you do a heavy attack, and then you do a death blow, and then you do a heavy attack. That's correct. That's you continue pattern. in this manner forever, in all situations, in with every robot. Oh god. And it is now Faye's turn to be fish napped. I don't understand how the fish napping works. Now Faye is dead. Oh well. At last. Should have had that O2 cylinder. Is Ellie a new tip? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That has been, Absolutely. That has been established. Yes. She is a robot psychic. Hold the the E-Tone from the hold Ethos. On. Hold on. The E-Tone who atone for Ethos. You realize that that was both hyphenated and in single quotes. It was both Hyphen at the same quotes. time. They used both emphasis marks. Why? Why'd you do that? Bay is dead. It's time for Bartonelli Adventures. Just Bartonelli. Just 100 years. Bartonelli. Congratulations. The game has taken Faye away from you. Is Bardinelli <laughs> on the high seas? Yeah, not the character you thought they were going to take away from you, huh? Now the question left as an exercise to the audience, will any actual combat occur between now and whenever the party gets shuffled next? I legit do not remember. The Mysteries. We were dangerously close to playing the game. Fortunately, Josiah intervened. Are you a party member? Are you one-handing a shotgun? Yes. Wait, I know that gun! This is my mysterious albino mute daughter. We travel together, <laughs> fighting ghosts. Alright, yep, that's another game. That could be a completely different game. Also, why would you ask that in front of her? Just, oh, is that your bastard? No, that's my older child, my teen child. This is my non-bastard spawn. Thank you very much. His son, who was a priest wizard engineer, who hunts ghosts. Okay, alright. Yeah. Priest wizard engineer hunting ghosts. Priest wizard engineer Billy, the confessor. 
Confessor Billy? Confessor Bill! What up, Bill? How you doing? Hell Bill's used atonement. Bring your wife, we'll forgive her. That's right, we'll forgive your wife! Home of challenge sinning! Son, I'm disappointed that you cleaned up and got yourself a respectable job in a prestigious organization. <laughs> How dare you get educated! Ah, good day, miss. Would you like to discuss theology sometime? I'm quite interested in learning about other cultures. Damn it, son! How <laughs> dare you respect foreign beliefs! Take your mysterious mute wizard little sister while I go do a heist. Back in ten. To eight to twenty years in prison. That jackass I despise is giving us complimentary access to premium healthcare for our dying friend. The fucker! So how many characters have been introduced? Like, sort of halfway, and then Doc has to show up and actually introduce them because he knows literally everyone. I want to oh. say it's like a good half to all of the characters. So I'm surprised far. he didn't charge in after we won the championship to introduce the Kaiser. Yeah, why not? Doc is 100% a plot device just to keep it moving. Behold! The boat. The boat. On the world. The world. Witness the illusion of freedom. Yes, there's so much freedom right now. You have no idea, Loon. You could go anywhere. You could go anywhere on all the seas, and then the giant wall of bone spikes erupts from the depths. <laughs> I have to, I cutting mean... off the ocean. March has something she wants to talk about. That's nice. She can discuss it during the many days we will spend at sea. Margie also has legs and can walk up here to... Uh, Nice, of course. I found an orphanage. Ah, welcome. The children. This orphanage, which is the only human settlement on an isolated island. Yup, they got the whole place to themselves. Not a bad deal. This chair. There's robot hand sculpture. Who knows, maybe there is a robot buried immediately under this orphanage. Good job, Doc. Doc Alfinelli did something suspicious. So he's <laughs> to to Doc is beyond confused. <laughs> Doc has got the space! Excuse Doc, me? no! Middle of nowhere, capital of ethics. <laughs> King Ethics. Ethics High Command, finally here. Ethos was created to help mankind, not destroy. Alright, there we go. There's Bill. <laughs> where, where, where is William? Do you know Bill? I know Bill. Bill knows me. Please go fetch Be Confessor Billiam. I made Bill's father Billy. yell at him. Please let me in. This is how every working day starts for Bill. Yes, I know my dad is. Get up, up you observe your cyber priest rites, you know, get ready to do a fine day of meditating, philosophizing, and. Spreading the goodwill, and then some asshole burst down the door. Have you heard about your dad's latest offense? Yes. Look, Bill, I'm not accusing you of anything. I will just never stop reminding you of how suspicious it is that yeah, your dad dead. does so many crimes to us, specifically. Alright, now we leave L to just be in the hospital, and now it's just... Just Bart and Duck. Bart Duck, and Bart Adventures. Dark and Buck. Dark, dark and bot, yeah. That's dark it. That's bot. Dark <laughs> bot. Yeah. What's more egregious about it is how intensely they micromanage taking people in and out of your party to the point where there's <laughs> often no reason for it. Remember, yeah. 
You remember the, the time... Like, I firmly expect that nothing will happen between dropping Elle off at the hospital bed and getting her back and leaving. You're probably right, actually. But they just want to be sure that you're fully immersed in, no, she's going to wait by his side while two brothers mill about in the monastery, find some magazines in the break room. <laughs> This monastery has a more elaborate kitchen than the Kaiser's Palace. Mm. Look at the size of these vats. Those are some gigantic burners. Whoa. That is, you could get Why? some industrial deep fry going here. Everything aside, this, this is a really good looking game for a PS1 game. <laughs> it, yeah, it, 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 it's unique. It has uh... visual side of things has all been very well developed. Hitting about the rest. Like, I'm not doing this to waste time right now. I'm actually really liking the look of the monastery and want to yeah. see all that it has to say. It is a very handsome building, yeah. If you got, like, you Interior know, the rustic stonework up top and then the cyber basement where the important stuff happens. Things up here are lower tech, but, like, just deliberately so as a stylistic choice on the part of the monks. Yeah, they use monks. They're trying to practice asceticism a little bit, except they do live in a really opulent cathedral, all told. For it. Well, here's some important lore. That's weird. The cursed land of the heavens, huh? Shavat is cursed, and Shavat is tied to the tower. Oh, the tower babbles a space elevator then. Yeah. Oh. Jesse used to be a monk, wizard, cyber cop of the future, mm. but he went rogue. See, see, it had, I walked upstairs <laughs> to look around, <laughs> then walked back downstairs. Adele was like, hey, he, he's doing okay. I guess he was a minute ago when I was downstairs. I went to get some gum. <laughs> I thought I saw a vending machine on the way in. Was there was there a vending machine? Ah. We're done now. I managed to upgrade him from super coma to regular coma. Well, there he is. What a nice place, that cyber monastery. Now let's never speak of it again. Actually, yeah, you, there's a there's a hatch here on the ground. There's some kind of hangar under the orphanage. Bill, do you have some sort of orphan bot? I know when to quit. I don't have to quit. I got the nano machines. <laughs> okay. All right. Rico is here. <laughs> how I guess. Did you, how did you get there? What do you think you're doing? Rico just showed up in the plot all of a sudden. He's here, He's here, now. here now. Hello. How you doing? Uh... You're the character. I... I exist. Good day. So, now we're in the part of the game where you have five characters, but the game just keeps shuffling them around. Multiball! Seemingly at random. We were Mul given a way to change them ourselves. And once, once, once ever. Just once, Big Joe yeah. offered to let us manage the team. Oh no. The bell. Son of Red Rum. Your dad was cool as hell. Also, we killed him. Also, Rico, you're a fucking moron. Your father had a long and successful career as what was probably the majority of the composing elements of a murderous biomass. Look, your dad killed a lot of people. He was really cool. It's okay, he did it for Ethos. He was a follower of Ethos. Here, have a Bible. 
He killed crime gladiators, and not even, like, well-behaved crime gladiators, cheating crime gladiators. Red Rum was a force for justice. I'd like to take the opportunity to assert that Red Rum was not mutated at all. And <laughs> that's just what this kid's dad looked like. <laughs> I mean, that's my dad. He's a cool skull monster with thousands of tentacles, and he rips people's faces off and drinks their blood. Oh, you are totally a villain. Looking at that dude's portrait, that is absolutely a villain right there. That is a hell of a way to refer to your constant war against an army of demons. Can you do the usual? Uh, Bill, you wanna you wanna do the usual? You, you wanna give him the Wednesday special? Bishop Stone's character design visually reminds me of a lot of different... It's kind of shorthand for this dude is really cool at first and then becomes a villain, right? I'm not the only one who feels that. I'm looking at him. We're getting involved in in holy adventure. Bill, to get in the submarine. The monsters. Get in the submarine and fight demons, Bill. Get yeah. in a party so we can get rid Go of Rico. Go kill the yeah, demons. Bill. We'll prepare to leave once I find out what's in your hidden compartment, Bill. I want your treasure, Bill. Get in your robot. You have a robot. Everyone has a robot. Get your robot, Bill. Good times about how we may have ruined everything <laughs> 20 years ago. This is a plot point. This is a plot beat that we are doing. We have to delay travel for yep. a day because the wheelman go got the drunk. The only person who knows how to steer the boat. We don't have an apprentice wheelman. Except we do, there's an apprentice wheelman. We know, we, we met him, we saw him, he's right there. Just tag him in, he's ready. He's not ready for it yet. He can do it. My dad who comes home at strange hours of the night after drinking with his friends. Alright, so he learned some portion of the deep heresies that are presumably eventually going to show up as part of the story. And that drove him to go rogue. He has a gun. Gun priest. And gun? Either gun and large gun. As a priest, I cannot turn down the opportunity to make advantage of this teachable moment. This is the difference between we space folk and you surface barbarians. <laughs> we understand the gun. You have gun and you don't use it. It's right there. I like Billy. I, I like Billy so far. Where was yeah. Billy 20 hours ago? Yeah. I know. I know. And I was thinking the same thing when I first And where he, will he be 45 minutes from now when he drops off the face of the earth <laughs> and is never seen again? Rico is from a... a prison movie. At Bart is from a, like, high, high seas adventure thing except on the desert. Faye is from a kung fu movie. Ellie is from a sci-fi movie. Like, whatever. This story is 27 different anime collide. Yes, 100%. And then violently fight for control of the plot. Doc is the only one I can't really... 
just stay straight up where he is, but that's because he's not a character, he's a plot device. He is Doc the writer. Is, yeah, stepping Doc is in. literally He's literally just there to know everyone and make them pot move. Thankfully, Bishop Stone arrived with his gun. You see, we all use guns in our order. And because we're, we're smart, so unlike you worthless barbarian heathens. We refuse to use gun. I really want to learn about your beliefs to see if any of you can explain to me why you don't use guns. And a million years ago, before the dawn of man... The thing that saved them was gun. A great wise man sought the secret of eternal life and found it here. The gun. The first humans were kept in a garden paradise and told there was only one rule to not eat from the fruit of this specific tree. Fortunately, they had a gun. Man had been separated from the heavens and sought to return to God, so they built a giant cannon in order to launch themselves into eternity. This angered God, and he shattered the gun of Babel. And from then on, no two civilizations would use the same caliber of munitions. Sorry, what's happening in this game? I've, I've lost track. Apparently Bill has a lot of financial problems. I mean, he's running he's, an orphanage. He has considered some dubious things in order to keep this orphanage financed. Well, Lone, you're going to have to make a really hard decision here. Um, who's going to go on the ghost boat? Bill and... I can't remove people from the line and then execute the joke. Bill and Bill and just Bill. Just Bill. had the, It's his job. He's a professional. Also, Faye is alive now. On, oh no, he's not. He's on the list, but I'm not yeah, allowed to put list. him on the team. Faye's unconscious body can be propped up into the party line. Alright, Gun Priest begins. Welcome to the new era. Yeah, make sure gun you Gun Priest, what him. you got? His death blows are Adam's Apple, Gunholic, Hellblast, and Nutcrack. Welcome Bye. aboard, permanent team member. <laughs> I love you, boy! <laughs> My boy! The chosen one, finally here. Is he also the the healing party member? Yes. He's, He's a gun, gun cleric. Paladin? Nice. Praise Cyber Jesus. Okay. Welcome to zombies. Yeah. Hold up. He keeps the shotgun, like, in his sleeve. Up his sleeve. Yep. That is the dopest, actually. He uses a shotgun with no hands. He's got some kind of assassin rig on his arms for stealth yeah. gunnery. 24 hours later, yep. we found the best character. Savor this rare instance of three <laughs> characters with distinctive moves and stats and roles. Yeah. Are on an adventure together. And all we had to do was just take the original protagonist and just fucking drown him. When was the... <laughs> just throw him to the bottom of the ocean and leave him to die. <laughs> and here's just the head and upper body of a lady with wings just flapping around. <laughs> Braylon said, well, no, I suppose that's... Yeah, that's about the right position to be here, rather than tendrils, or... Is there kind of an eye down there? Is there, like, a there... hermit crab situation? Or there's, like, a, there... a tiny there's fish thing kind of just thing wearing this... Here. It's half cuttlefish, you know? It's... This is it a really it. interesting creature. Hit it, so, so it changes. Yeah, there we go. That it, angle. Uh... Yeah, it's a, it's like a nautilus. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a nautilus that is also a person. I'm like, hey, that's a good creature design. We sleep now. You have awoken the wrong person. You woke the gun. Well, Bill, it's been a time. Have to spin the wheel and see if you get to stay around for more than a single boss fight. against Brother of Red Rum. Yeah, this. Good! Bloody, good. who murders? 
He's just gonna do that every round. He absorbs fire. He is weak to gun. Good. As it should be. Billy has given a signal. He has signaled. The children are ready. Yes. Priest bot engage. Yes. Now that I've encountered any other biome on the planet, I can conclude that sand <laughs> is awful. I hate sand. Sand fucking sucks. My ocean God, is so great. When sand. I get my throne back, I'm moving everybody to the ocean. Also, yes, I am glad that there are ongoing jokes about the gap in Bart's field of vision. <laughs> Just things he does not notice because they're in the <laughs> wrong spot. So there you have it. Billy runs an orphanage, but they also run his secret robot hangar. Which Hell yes. he uses his giant robot to fight giant zombies. Commence the probing. Yep. Weak to fire, but becomes larger when struck by magic. Whoops. Which causes him to trade defense for attack. Okay. Got mm. it. Alright, it is now two steps larger than it was before. And let's blind him. <laughs> yeah, that's a and good idea. And maybe that will also count for another step of largeness. Maybe? Yes. It okay. is now three steps large, and I am wondering how many times this can stack. Weird. We are all free now that Faye is dead. Just look at Priest Bot. Look at that cape. Look at Priest Bot and his Superman cape. Yeah, his cape is so good. Oh. Well, Bill, congratulations on the loss of your peaceful, idyllic life. Yeah, you know your what happened. Your whole monastery see... destroyed, all of your brothers killed. Welcome to your first incident, Bill. You'll fit in well here. Now you are one of us, so... Bill, your dad shot up another monastery. Hmm. Intrigues afoot. Well, anyway, the obvious thought is that we should now be able to go into the Forbidden Basement. We have to save the Pope from assassins. The Cyber Pope. The Gun Pope. Too late. There's probably a whole dungeon worth of stuff in there, but I don't feel particularly bad about just finding the proper path at the moment. Also, actually, firmly with L here. P please, at this far into this plot, try to keep up. Don't be surprised that, wait, the Cyber Church of Cyber Knowledge, who keep the secrets about the super technology, were from space? What? Let's solve the mysteries! Let's query the database while the assassins continue to rampage through the halls. <laughs> the adventures of Not Fay, without the group without Fay. Let's go to the library! Life after Fay. Memories of Fay. Re regrets relating to Fay. Times I got drunk with Fay. There. There's something good. There we go, there's your shock, there's your surprise twist. Hey! Shakan is an ethos bishop. Bill. 
Bill, come on. Bill, of all people, Bill, I know you're new to the team. There, the moment Faye died, they started answering questions and building their lore and setting and history. Okay. Just amazing, sudden, high density, deciding what's even going on now that Faye is dead. Okay, Bill, your, your, your temple does a little bit of slave trade on the side. Nineteen years ago, when we filed for funding to commence investigation of the incident, when the initial planning meetings were scheduled, began allocating resources to pursue to future incidents. He's finding out that there's a lot of corruption in the gun administration. This does not undermine the, the, the core, the spirituality, just that there is conflicting motivations. There's a lot of gun indulgences being bought, a lot of underhanded gun dealings. It turns out in retrospect, wait a minute, the last 14 cyber popes all came from the same family of wealthy industrialists, all well connected <laughs> to the gun lobby. That may have been suspicious, just a bit. Look, this is just an opportunity to cast off the old order and bring people closer to guns on a personal level. This is an opportunity for a gun reformation. A stun bullet is just a bullet that hits your spine. Just a normal day in the forbidden basement of Ethos. <laughs> Just three gun, gun clergy having themselves a theological Mexican standoff. We're just having ourselves a little anime Tarantino moment. Double tapped by the bishop. Yes, Bill, that's that that means stone. That's it's just stone but German. It's that's still his, <laughs> it's just his name, it's his name. His name, which means rock. Can't believe Stone was Stein all along! He's getting away in the clergy bot. being watched by the orb. Why'd we even found the cyber church? In retrospect, <laughs> it seems foolish. Alright, there we go. That was something I expected. Yeah, the zombies are in fact some manner of product of science. Deliberately yeah. assembled. Welcome back, Captain. Yeah, it's been too long and will perhaps be for the last time. We'll see how well you accommodate. It's just out 
for an ordinary treasure run, and then suddenly this murder orb appeared. <laughs> Men of the sea, do not run for murder orbs. The fuck is this sky orb? No idea, sir. Can we salvage that? What the fuck do you think? Is it treasure? Oh is it beer? Show you how real men retreat. Also, yeah, this zombie plague sounds like something real important that should have maybe been spoken of 20 hours ago at all. Yep. That did this strike is... me as a weird thing. There's a big re list of plot elements going on that could all coexist in a single entity, but they're all compartmentalized completely from each other. There's nothing stringing them together. Nope. We're just quantum leaping from one anime to the next as we make our way through the disc. Apparently we have moved from Burning Souls to, to Ocean Floor. That's We're already underwater. Ocean according Floor. According to, to the chapter name. <laughs> next time, Ocean Floor. Yeah, 5,000 Charles under the sea.